today. But to get us started, please welcome to the stage from our own board of directors, Lance Gilliam and Troy Taylor. I've never had a problem speaking loudly. I know you haven't either, Troy. Thank you, Ashley. That, that was amazing. And I'm already off script. It, it's a reminder of why we do what we do. And as we sit in boardrooms, sometimes we become detached from the actual work and our staff never lets that happen. And, and we it's important to us. So thank you for the beautiful poem. I'm Lance Gilliam. I'm proud to be the chairman of the board of the Coalition for the Homeless Houston Harris County. Uh, as we celebrate our 40th anniversary year. I'm Troy Taylor, and I'm also proud to be, uh, to serve on the board of the Homeless Coalition. Ashley, I'll just tell you, um, if I could only change something different, I probably would have went first just because that was so powerful. <laughs> that almost seemed unfair. Um, no, but we're glad to be here, and we're really glad to be here in person after doing um, events like this socially. This is just a great refresher we extend our um, warmest um, thanks for being here for those that are online. And we also encourage you to participate via the chat, via Zoom. And now we wanna recognize the sponsors that help make this happen. Our goal sponsor, Court. Two silver sponsors, the Ballack family and Zillow. Bronze sponsors, Group One Automotive, Houston Methodist, and the Life Startup Essentials. And our final sponsor was Amogee Bank. Thank you. We, uh, we know that some of our guests will be joining us later in the conference, uh, but if any of our elected officials, I haven't seen one, are here now, uh, if you'd please stand so we can recognize you. Um, Anyway, thank you, our elected officials. We'll have them join later. Um, uh, th thank you for being here and, and for your work in homelessness in our community. We also want to recognize especially uh, Houston's Mayor Sylvester Turner, our county judge, Lena Hildago, and uh, especially one of our county commissioners, uh, uh, County Commissioner Precinct 2, uh, Adrian Garcia. Uh, they weren't able to be here today, but their leadership has been uh, incredibly invaluable, especially for the community COVID housing program, which we'll hear about later. So what do we do here? The Coalition for the Homeless acts as a catalyst, uniting partners and maximizing resources to move people experiencing homelessness into permanent housing with supportive services, but we don't do it alone. The Coalition is the lead agency to The Way Home, the collective effort to prevent and end homelessness in Houston and throughout Harris, Fort Bend, and Montgomery counties in Texas. And it's made up of more than 100 partners, all from the community, many of whom are present here today. I'd like to take a moment to recognize them and the steering committee for The Way Home. So if you work for a nonprofit service provider or a government entity, and you're here today, please stand now. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's your commitment to this work, day in and day out, that brings us closer to making homelessness rare, brief, and non-recurring. Thank you. So collaboration is the theme of the day. In fact, it's the underlying value in our success of the coalition. It's only by working together that we've managed to become one of the most effective homeless response systems in the country. Over the past decade, together, we've ended homelessness for more than 25,000 people by placing them in permanent housing with supportive services. No one organization acting alone could achieve this, but when we work together, we make the impossible possible. This is the great part in, in our script that we've been given. Both of you are given one or two minutes, only one or two minutes to say what we wanna say. And I'd like to say two things. One, I wanna to speak to our board. 
we have been blessed with an incredible board. And that board was built intentionally. It was built with leaders like Troy, who serve on other boards at the Metro, and throughout our partners, Search, New Hope Housing, uh, the Community Land Trust. Um, I know I'm missing somebody here. Uh, uh, you said housing, but how could I forget? The Port Authority, and especially the Houston Housing Authority. But those leaders are in the room with us. They're in the room with others in our community who have lived experience. They're in the room with us who have uh, mental health uh, expertise and other qualities that can, together, we as a board collaborate towards a common goal. But when we have an issue, and this goes to the second thing I wanna, wanted to speak to, is we figure it out amongst ourselves. It's never occurred to us not to be successful. And we're thankful to our staff for that success. But as a quality and a value, we get up every day with the mission of just, just get it done. And if we don't get it done that day, we get back up the next day and we try again. That failure the prior, the prior day is the value that drives us the next day. A failure is just a lesson learned and a lesson not to be repeated. So I wanna thank all of our board members for all your service, the staff that supports us, that lets us celebrate our success. We know that y'all do the hard work, but we love to talk about it and we're very proud of it. Troy. Uh, thank you, Lance. I'll try to make this brief and we'll see how I do. My daughter asked me this morning, she said, you're going to one board meeting and then you're headed to another board meeting. She says, so what does this one do? And we've always had a, a, a heart towards the homeless, but growing up, I always thought I knew exactly what it looked like. I thought it was the person at, in front of the convenience store or the grocery store that was asking for money. And I thought it was the person at the stop sign or the red light or under the highway that had a tent. That was homelessness, that, that's what it was and that's what I responded to. And then I was convicted as I got older and realized that one of my high school um, colleagues who I admired and literally wanted to be like, just a noted and gifted individual um, that um, ended up playing for the Green Bay Packers and ended up being their all time leading receiver. He's here from, he's from Houston and just a great individual, Donald Driver, who found out that he lived in the back of a U-Haul when we were at school and I admired Donald Driver. So you don't know what it looks like. And then in college, I had fraternity brothers and classmates that would all often say, can I crash on your couch? And I'd like, go home you know, go home, you know, you, you just want to, you're just being lazy and not realize that you could be in college and planning for a future and still be homeless. So it, it, it takes a face. And I think Ashley, you said it well, they want to be seen, they want to be heard, and they want to be valued. And I think that's what this group is doing here today. So we thank you for being here. Thank you so much for um, sharing that, Lance and Troy. We really appreciate you and everything that you have.